Hurricane Sandy pounded the D.C. region Monday night and into Tuesday morning, and it wasn't until the sun rose Tuesday did we finally see the damage the massive storm caused. We, we actually could sit and hear, hear all the wind blowing outside and just the, the windows rustling. And, and with the winds howling like they were, you know, I thought maybe um, anything goes, you know. Down trees were the most visible sign of Sandy's impact, knocking out power to thousands in the region. But Sandy's force wasn't nearly as bad as what was expected. It was a classic uh, uh, hurricane type winds. By Tuesday afternoon, roughly 60,000 people were without power in Northern Virginia and the district. Montgomery County and Prince George's County had another 4,000 in the dark. But even though the rains and winds seem to be calming, Mayor Gray cautioned the city isn't out of the woods just yet. Our, our main threats, uh, Sandy, uh, are continued flooding from heavy rains and continued winds when they gust up to 40 miles an hour. The National Weather Service said it expected the Potomac River to flood Wednesday and Thursday at a rate not seen in 15 years. But the light wind and rain Tuesday made it possible for cleanup crews to remove trees and work on restoring power. For WashingtonExaminer.com, I'm Steve Doty.